Good morning guys. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Bitcoin price, what is happening to the price at the moment and which three scenarios we can expect for the future. I'm going to show you that more and more people are making their coins private and how they are doing this. And yes, now by buying Bitcoin with cash in Russia, you can even get jail time. All this news while I visit this amazing location you have not seen yet in my videos it's a beautiful place and you will love it let's jump into this new beautiful office i'm going to show you today while i tell you all this beautiful news and let's go okay guys first of course all i need to drive right a little bit before i reach this beautiful new office well, i've been down so long but my mind can't get no rest I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. No, no, this ain't easy, darling. Cause the devil's on my trail. There I am on my office of today, guys. Good morning from beautiful Thailand, Copenhagen. As you can see, I'm visiting this beautiful Buddhist temple today and I will talk to you about the news in Bitcoin while I visit this amazing place so you can enjoy some more beautiful backgrounds of these statues, of these buildings and this huge stairs I'm going to walk up because I need Bitcoin to go up from today so I want to walk these stairs and maybe then Buddha will help drive the Bitcoin price up a little bit guys. <laughs> yeah. Bitcoin price guys at the moment we are hovering around 9,100 9,200 which is a beautiful price to be around yes I know you guys want Bitcoin to be much higher but at the moment that's just a level that we need to fight some longer 10k level is a level that is a very tough level because there are more than 6,000 bitcoins being sold around this level like I said the last time to you guys so we need to figure out a way to climb above this level this is the beautiful staircase I'm going to walk up guys can you see it how cool this is so beautiful <laughs> This is the stairway to the moon. Let's start to climb it and talk some Bitcoin news to you guys. Um, this week we are closing the monthly channel. Tuesday is my birthday on the 26th of May and a few days later we will close the weekly uh, candle. If we are able to close this weekly candle above 9300 that would be amazing because that would give us a closing candle higher than the last month's closing candle which would be a bullish sign and an indicator we could go into this new bull run again like we did in the previous bull run so that is if we look at the monthly candle if we take it a step down in the weekly candle we have of course the same goal because this week will close the month so in the weekly candle we need this weekly candle to close around 9300 and preferably above the 9300 level that will be a very positive weekly indicator as well um, as you know we already talked a few times about these weekly candles in the past videos yes you know i always say zoom out in bitcoin and zoom in in life but to educate you a little bit i need to zoom in now into this uh, bitcoin one hour and four hour chart to explain to you a little bit more what is happening so if we look at the daily chart guys we are below the resistance level of uh, 10k of course but that is of course what you already know because you have been watching all my videos if you zoom out in the week the only goal is to close about 9300 at the end of the week so in the next couple of days yes we can go down and up a few times the rsi is above 50 which is still very bullish i see the small dead snake just in front of me up the stairs it's being eaten by ants yes that's nature animals eat each other 
And if this crisis will continue, probably humans will start to eat each other as well. <laughs> yes, that is my sarcasm. No, I don't want humans to eat each other. Um, you will get to use to my sarcasm because if you watch my videos, you just understand. I just see life always with a little bit of humor because that just makes life way more fun. And the Daily Chart of MACD cross also crossed bearish. Um, which could mean Bitcoin will go down in the next couple of days. But you know, it's the MACD on the daily chart. In the weekly chart, we just need to make sure that we close above 9,300 because that will make us also close on the monthly chart above 9,300, which is very bullish. As long the MACD is above zero, I am happy. And as long the RSI is above 50, I am still very happy. If you zoom a little bit more in, the, the higher we go, the more we zoom in, yeah. Uh, special effects. If we zoom a little bit more into the one hour chart, we can see that this drop to the 9k area was exactly the 61.8% Fibonacci level we should retrace to. So there is nothing strange in this pullback. In the one hour chart and the lower time frames, the MACD and the RSI are, are becoming pretty bullish. So they are telling us that we could go up again a little bit. I hope you start to understand now that there is a lot of difference between the one hour chart, the one week chart, the one month chart. So you just need to decide for yourself which chart do you want to trade on. I prefer to zoom out and take the bigger time frames like a week or a month because then I'm not just daily stressing about this price. But it's still fun to look at the smaller time frames to just see what is happening in a daily base uh, with Bitcoin and the whole you know, community and industry around it. So in this one hour chart, both the RSI and the MACD are giving a positive sign that we could go up in the next couple of hours. But again, I don't know when you're watching this video, so just check when I posted this video, because at times I'm, I'm speaking about the time that I post this video. So this is about probably 11 uh, or 12 uh, Bangkok time. So maybe this chart of the hourly already changed. And that is also why I don't like to speak about these small time frames, because they changed a lot and I don't want to misinform you guys with my videos so I like to zoom out to the weekly and the monthly chart and they are still feeling bullish to me guys and as long we close about this beautiful level of 9300 I'm almost at the top of this beautiful stairway to the moon maybe Bitcoin will follow me if we do not succeed in holding this beautiful 9200 level in Bitcoin yes we could fall all the way back to 8100 and if we are not able to hold this 8100 level yes we could fall back all back to the 6000 area but guys to sum it a little bit up i think these three scenarios that i saw in this beautiful post give you a beautiful view of what could happen with bitcoin in the next couple of weeks so check this and i will talk you through it scenario one we reclaim the high time frame level of 9300 and use this as a support that is the first scenario so we will move on upwards from 9300 scenario two is that we are going to retest the 20 weekly moving average which is around 8100 this is the second scenario so we could go down to the 20 week moving average and retest that and then go up from there slowly to break 10k again this is the scenario i told you a few times about where jessa you know she went back to get to her sisters to convince her sisters to ask daddy for a cookie because when three people ask for a cookie and daddy would give the cookies this is the 20 week moving average if you're going to retest this one we are just going to pick up some more investors that want to step into this market on a lower level of Bitcoin price and then together break the 10k level. Then we have the worst case scenario and that is really the worst case scenario. This is scenario 3. Scenario 3 would mean guys that we will break the 20 week moving average and then we will fall all the way down back to 6000 US dollar per Bitcoin. Whew. I don't want to think about this scenario, I don't think this scenario will happen, but you guys, you never know, it's Bitcoin and Bitcoin just always does what it wants, but let's see how this will develop in the next week. You know, I really think that we are strong enough to close this candle, monthly candle, weekly candle above 9,300, which would give us a very positive future of Bitcoin for the next 18 months 
which tent could beautiful be this new bull run we have been all waiting for the last three years already and i think we deserve this bull run because we didn't support bitcoin and the development of these beautiful depths and um, without a reason we are here to huddle just like the guy that huddled his bitcoins for 11 years in his wallet before moving this 50 bitcoins we need to do this the same with a huge portion of our bitcoins but please guys don't forget to start spending your bitcoins as well because that is how we prove that it's usable to spend and that's how it and that's how we support the bitcoin miners in receiving fees because they need the fees now to survive because the bitcoin price is not high enough we need to go between 12 and 14k to satisfy our bitcoin miners and give them the profit they also deserve you know for protecting and keeping this whole industry safe as you can see it's a very beautiful surrounding i'll take you up to this temple I am going to walk downwards again. I hope you enjoy this beautiful view of Thailand because one of the most beautiful, you know, parts of Thailand is all the culture that the people still, you know, like fully support. And they just keep believing in this beautiful Buddhism um, belief, which, um, you know, just teaches you to enjoy life, to enjoy the small things in life. Don't stress too much and many other things. There was one more thing I think I want to talk with you about and that is a very positive uh, movement now that more and more Bitcoins, I think more Bitcoins than ever, are being made private. Yes, and all you skeptics now out there that are going to say to this video, no, Bitcoin is not private, you need to use Monero or any other privacy currency. Yes, I agree, you can use all these other um, cryptocurrencies as well. I'm not a cryptocurrency hater guys, I'm a cryptocurrency lover and I love all these uh, cryptocurrencies to succeed. But please understand, it's also possible to make Bitcoin a little bit more private. How do you do this? You just do this by CoinJoin. What is CoinJoin? CoinJoin is this beautiful thing where you can send your Bitcoin. Bitcoins are being mixed up in many other currencies just like you're trading Bitcoin on exchange, you know, buy, sell, buy, sell. And then in the end, these Bitcoins will be sent to another Bitcoin wallet so nobody will have a clue who is the new owner of this bitcoin this coin joining guys is not that difficult you can do it by just using for example wasabi wallet or samurai wallet sadly um i think samurai is still not available on an iphone but it is all available on all the android phones um, and you can do them also on a laptop and then i think you can do it on a macbook as well and i think this month only and we are talking about may this already happened in may to 70,000 bitcoins why could this be happening of course there are many reasons people are still are getting smaller and smaller and they just want to hide their beautiful bitcoin stash so that they don't need to pay taxes about on them and all that kind of stuff or maybe even because people don't want to go into jail don't want to go into jail TV. how can bitcoin get sent you to jail now, that is not as easy all over the world, but in Russia now, these guys have voted for a new law and this new law could make digital currency like Bitcoin um, illegal if you don't first register at the central bank of Russia. So then before you buy Bitcoin with cash or in any other way, you need to register at the central bank and show them who you are. KYC is what we call it in this industry before you buy it because if you don't do it like this and you buy Bitcoin with cash and they find out you can get fines and even these fines are not enough because if you do it big scale man they will even lock you up in prison so you're doing jail time because you used your beautiful cash to buy Bitcoin without doing KYC I don't think this is a positive movement because if this central bank is going to do it, many others will get the same idea. So yes, buying Bitcoin in the wrong illegal way, whatever way this could be, could lead to jail time, guys. And that is probably why all these 70,000 Bitcoins now in May have been coin joined and mixed up and made private by their owners because now nobody in Russia can tell them this is your Bitcoin or your Bitcoin because they were coin joined in Wasabi or in Samurai Wallet or just in any other coin mixer 
uh, application guys so that le will lead to less jail time in Russia <sighs> wow yes I'm sweating again the humidity is high it's not that I need to climb the stairs because these stairs are built very beautiful you can walk them up very slowly um, it feels like walking on this beautiful red carpet all up to that point over there somewhere always build these things so beautiful yes it's a little bit flashy with all the you know mirrors and the the colors but I love these colorful things why should everything always be black and white and gray I love colors these colors are beautiful check my shirt even my Bitcoin logo is full of colors beautiful bright colors because that is what makes life a little bit more cheerful and yes of course we are going to do a small donation out of appreciation for this beautiful temple maybe I should start to educate these guys how to add a QR code next to the donation box so we can start to donate in Bitcoin and then Bitcoin is even supporting beautiful temples here in Thailand you might think guys why is Didi not showing this to his children let me be honest to you guys I have been showing this to my children already many times we have been in Thailand many times and all these times we took the children to these temples and to these beautiful places and now my kids are 14 12 and 10 and they are that dead not again I already saw this I already saw the temple I already saw the lying Buddha I already saw this biggest biggest standing Buddha of the world Angkor Wat in Cambodia so my kids are now ready for some new adventure so when this COVID period is over and we are able to travel again in a beautiful world there will be a moment we will leave Thailand again and the next destination I'm not sure yet because we just never know we always go with the flow so let's see where this adventure and after this COVID lockdown in Thailand will bring us and which new beautiful office places I can show you while enjoying life and supporting crypto 24 7 because that is what I do with the family I hope you really enjoyed this video please support by giving it a thumbs up subscribing to my channel and sharing it with your communities hit this bell button so you'll be notified on every new video I make guys I wish you an amazing day zoom out in crypto zoom in into life and enjoy every single minute of the day because that is what makes life beautiful see you tomorrow again guys bye I can't run,